Hi and welcome to Fun with Floral Art. I'm Laura and today I'm going to be making a table arrangement. So I'm using this um, Oasis cage bowl. I'm using this because I'm taking it to um, somebody else's house and so I'm happy to leave it there. I don't have to worry about um, leaving one of my vases behind. So the the table that I will be uh, placing this on will be similar to this. It will be a rectangular table. So I want a, uh, a rectangular sort of shape arrangement that's a bit longer than wide. Whereas this is a circle, so that's no problem. So the first step, I've got here some viburnum. I've got some pittosporum. I've got, uh, I'm not sure what this foliage is. I've got these amazing red kangaroo paws. I've got some yellow roses and I've also got some yellow kangaroo paws. So the first step is to green up the arrangement and that will give me the shape. So I always start off with a nice diagonal cut because that will give, it gives more surface area so the plant gets a drink and it's also easier to place into the floral foam. If you can get some nice bushy foliage like this, then you don't need as many stems. And it's also a good idea to strip off any of the lower foliage because it's not really needed. And after a while, once this gets quite full, you will have trouble finding a space. So already you can see a sort of shape forming there. And I've uh, got my turntable, which is very useful. Continue to put a bit more greenery in there to establish the shape. It's good to have a couple of different kinds of foliage for a bit of variety of texture and colour. I've chosen the viburnum because it's sort of has a little bit of a, a yellow tinge to it and um, it's a little bit reddish as well. So it doesn't take long for it to start looking quite full. If you're doing a table arrangement, you don't want to make it too tall because you want the people at the table to be able to see each other. So it should add to the atmosphere rather than people having to sort of fight their way through so that they can see who's on the other side of the table. Starting to get quite full now. put the foliage in first because not only does it establish the shape of the arrangement but if you put the flowers in first because they tend to be a bit more delicate then you don't want to be pushing the flowers out of the way and damaging them while you try and put the foliage in so there's always a reason why we do the things we do take quite a bit of foliage to fill up the arrangement. If you can find foliage that also has a flower on it, that's like a bonus. And 
and each time I'm cutting with a nice diagonal cut, you know, that's much easier to place the stems in. And so these, I'll cut it there. And I'll get to a bit rid of that one. want anybody to be able to see the foam so we need some good coverage happening and we also need to choose items that are in scale if it's a small arrangement you know we don't want huge overpowering flowers so now we've kind of got a an oval shape happening there might add a little bit of this foliage for a bit more variety of texture and color that's quite nice and bushy too it does take quite a bit of foliage to cover one of these you can see how that one has got a little bit of a curve to it so we'll not fight with nature we'll use the way it's curving up You could make this a Christmas arrangement by adding Christmas decorations into the mix as well. And once you've got your foliage pretty well completed, really you could use any, you could turn it into any kind of colour scheme by the flowers that you're choosing to use. Because this is just the base of it. Getting there now, a few gaps. How many stems have I put in? All right, well, I might add some flowers now. So this is our focal area in the center here. So this is where we want our larger blooms to be because this is the center of attention and the smaller ones out towards the edges. So I might um, start with a nice long bit of kangaroo paw and this will immediately start to make it look a bit different. So the smaller ones around the outside. And these last a long time. When you're choosing elements in your arrangements, you always need to choose things that are going to last the same amount of time. Because you don't want you know, one of the flowers in the arrangement to die and everything else to be still going a week later. So you need to choose things that have got the same lifespan. Now, of course, that can be quite different in winter and summer. Kangaroo pool are used quite a lot at the moment in um, public spaces. They've become quite popular. Some of the yellow ones now. I'm leaving the roses till last because they're the more delicate flowers. 
and I don't really want to damage them. See, I'm starting to um, struggle to find a spot for the stem to go in, and that's why you need to strip off the lower foliage. I'm just filling up around the edges. And these are quite short. Here's a taller piece that can go in the middle. So this is a nice warm colour scheme happening here and some of the foliage has got um, is variegated as well and that brings that sort of warm yellow tone in as well so I'll do some of the roses now so at this point a few spikes on here I need to size my roses so I want a nice big one in the centre so I think this is the candidate for that Give it a fresh cut. And let's have that one in the center. So with our roses, we want them to sit above the foliage because they're really the stars of the show. So we want that to sit up a bit higher. If you were buying an arrangement like this from a florist, that's what you're paying for is uh, the flowers so you want to be able to see them so the smaller ones i'll put towards the outside i think this is a little bit too long Few of these leaves off. Can't find a spot. So the yellow roses are really bringing out the warm tones in the foliage as well. This one's quite big as well, so that will go towards the centre. You don't want your roses to open up too much. You can keep them in the fridge until they're ready to use them. That's what I quite often do. Otherwise, on a warm day, they'll just open right out. And this is a little bit long as well. And uh, an arrangement like this will be viewed from all around rather than up against walls. So we need to think who's going to be looking at it from all angles and evenly distribute, especially our main flowers. Here we go, last rose. This one's quite open. 
and do you do a good spot for it? Right, so there we have our table arrangement. As you can see, looks pretty much the same from all different angles. And it's so a slight uh, oval shape. It's a little bit longer on the sides than it is on those sides. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And I hope you'll come back and watch the next ones. Thank you.